But actually, let's do this because of the call. Let's do this Lula story quickly, and then we'll get to some more uh, sound. Um, So two different things we're going to do here. We're going to play a clip. Lula, after being silenced for a year, uh, the reset, as always, was that he's the former two-term president. He led uh, by double digits in the polls. He was put in jail with without uh based off the testimony of one informant sergio moro the prosecutor now justice minister for the fascist bolsonaro government served both as prosecutor and judge which is a rule that is a hangover from the inquisition that still exists in brazil uh judge moro called lula nine was his nickname because he's missing a finger because he uh, had a finger he lost a finger as a young metal worker uh, when he was coming up um, as a young man. Uh, the political, the uh, American Association of Jurists, and I'm quoting now, which is uh, has an N- NGO consultative status at the United Nations Economic and Social Council, has published a statement recognizing Brazilian President Luis Inácio Lula de Silva as a political prisoner. Uh, Lula's sentence, and now I'm quoting again from the letter, was issued as a consequence of accusations produced by violating due process law that prejudiced his right to a defense without evidence, the AJJ said. Brazilian far-right politicians benefited in the elections while Lula da Silva was isolated in prison uh, as a presidential candidate and had the broadest popularity in electoral polls. They denounced the sentence and they said, such conditions demonstrate... Uh, including his lack of ability to speak to the press, demonstrate uh, a detention that was made by violating fundamental guarantees, endorsing clear political motivations, and lacking connection with properly well-defined offense, and having duration and accessory penalties, which were aimed at both moving Lula da Silva away from national political process and laying the uh, foundations to discriminate against people endorsing different ideological tendencies through irregular procedures." He could be described as a prisoner of conscience. So uh, this is fundamentally a byproduct of U.S. foreign policy starting in 2009 in Honduras, where there was a coup against the center-left leader Manuel Zelaya, supported by Obama and Clinton. Uh, And even though these pink-tide governments in Brazil and Honduras uh, followed a center-left path, Chavez and others a more left path, the sort of tolerance for even the most sort of moderate redistribution and resisting of Western multinationals, and as an example, emergent oil markets in Brazil, was both intolerable to oligarchs at home and the traditional, you know, Wall Street and petrochemical interests of the states and others. And that is the broader context behind these things and behind, again, the imprisonment of an extraordinarily popular leader with no evidence. Lula finally was given the right to speak. Uh, He held his first press conference. This is actually in prison. I do find his resiliency incredible. And here he is a little bit. uh, Unfortunately, I wish wish the people who had done this had not bedded uh, music under it, but uh, this is the English translation. We're going to play some of his uh, reflections on what's happening now in Brazil. Uh, Again, extraordinarily impressive that a year in solitary confinement his family's been prosecuted. Uh, his country's under assault by Bolsonaro and Trump. And here he is. I'm... I'm wait, pause it. Is, are you speeding it up? Can you just go at regular speed so I can read the... Uh, so I can keep up with reading for people? Yeah. The day I leave here, they know I will be on the road. For together with the people held up our heads high and not give our country to the Americans to finish with the underdog complex. I've never seen a president saluting the American flag. Bolsonaro saluted the American flag. I've never seen a president saying, I love the USA. I love it. Love your mother. Love your country. We love the USA. Is there anyone thinking that the USA is going to favor Brazil? We are the ones who must fend for ourselves and with the underdog complex uphold our heads and realize that the solution to Brazil is the problem in Brazil is Brazil itself. Look, the government lowers the people's income per capita. You, the government, decrease the minimum wage, all things Bolsonaro is doing. You, the government, reduce the possibility of job training and you think that that's one trillion? 
for a punch in funds and social security will solve anything for the financial system is going to be all right do you know what works what's works is doing what we did legalize and formalize six million individual entrepreneur small businesses do you know why pensions and social security had a surplus in my government because it had 20 million registered working people because it had six million individual entrepreneurs formalized because Brazil's quadrupled its expira expirations uh, rate. So when you save money, the people can eat one extra bread, drink one extra coffee, have one extra beer, earn extra real, buy another sendel. That way you start to create jobs in the country. So basically, I mean, he did follow a Keynesian policy uh, that, as I would say, lifted about 40 million people out of poverty and increased material well-being for tens of millions, uh, including this most historically repressed. Right now, under the guidance of a Chicago school economist, they're trying to get rid of pensions, and they're attacking the legality of labor unions um, as well. Uh, so